If you haven't yet enjoyed, or at least become familiar with, the Picross style of puzzling, this may be among the best opportunities to check it out at a budget price. Rather than being a step up from previous incarnations like many of the numbered Picross S titles have been, S Plus is instead a great way to enjoy plenty of great puzzles from some of its predecessors on the 3DS. But with a budget-friendly price and the same high-quality features that have been implemented across all Switch Picross titles. So, for a low-budget entry price, you'll be able to enjoy 300 puzzles in both the standard and mega modes, with the provision to buy additional packs for a reasonable price. While you won't be able to play anything in the Picross color mode, you will have the option of playing cooperatively with up to three friends though. A variation of play that can be surprisingly satisfying and at least low-key competitive as you each try to work out more of the puzzle than your friends. Of course, if you're new to Picross, you can also count on the excellent in-game tutorials that will thoroughly walk you through everything you'll need to know to be on the road to being a nonogram master, as well as their best-in-class interface. Keeping in mind that this is effectively an archival collection of re-released puzzles with a very reasonable price and pretty well every benefit of the evolution of the Picross franchise over the years, it's a pretty outstanding deal for puzzle fans. Granted, there's no new functionality to get excited about, but honestly, outside of theming of some kind, it seems like they're running out of new elements to add. So in the end, it's another Picross option on the system, though lacking the diversity and puzzles of some of its newer iterations, but at least with a lower price to help compensate. Overall, my final score for the game ended up being a 7.8. And if you're interested in picking it up, it's currently available on the Switch eShop for $4.99. Thank you for taking the time to listen to this review. And if you'd like more information or ideas of indie games worth checking out on Switch, be sure to click on the link provided in the description. Until next time.